Nigel, congratulations, you've booked your space at Wembley. Yeah, hard work, uh, but I think it was an incredible effort by the players throughout the game tonight, over the two legs and over the last eight months, but uh, I thought tonight we were very, very good indeed in denying the opposition uh, a lot of opportunities. Defensively, was that one of the best performances from your side this season? Yes, to keep a clean sheet, certainly. Uh, but it started at the front. I thought to Quinny and Oates, he started that off. Uh, and then I thought Jordan and Lucas, doing their defensive duties, were outstanding tonight in wide areas. Yeah, the fans were immense as well behind that goal. You saw the scenes at full time whistle. What's the scenes like in the dressing room? I don't know, I'll come out to talk to you. <laughs> Well, we thank you for that. We thank you for that. Uh, I imagine they're absolutely as mental as what they were in the stands. What does it say about your squad and the, and the journey that they've been on this season? Because when we came here earlier in the season, it was the lowest ebb, you said. Yeah, we were. We were absolutely down and out. And uh, we then put an incredible performance in on the Tuesday against Port Vale and everything picked up from there. But, you know, in seven or eight months to turn it around that we're going to Wembley, uh, I think the players deserve and, and the staff and everybody deserve a huge amount of credit. To that, to that degree, because you know, when you are joint bottom of the league after nearly a third of the season, then to reach Wembley, we've, st we've still got a job to do there, but to actually reach Wembley, uh, it's just incredible achievement. There are a fair few surprises in the uh, starting lineup tonight in terms of personnel and where they sat. What was the thinking behind that? John Joe Tool usually been playing at centre half for you, but we know can do a job in midfield. Kimson sits alongside Kieran Wallace, who I thought was another excellent player for you tonight. We've tossed around with the team and thought and discussed uh, ever since Saturday and we just thought that was the right team tonight I didn't think it was a particular going to be a particular night for our players you know Matty Longstaff and, and Ryan Sturk and, uh, and Jamie Murphy so we couldn't get them on it was, it was about picking a team to win the game to do a job tonight uh, which they did yeah, absolutely. And Nathan Bishop, clean sheet for him tonight. The most Im important clean sheet I think he'll ever keep. The most important save was after about 30 seconds of the game or a minute of the game where he tipped one. Uh, if, if, you know, if they get a goal then, it's a whole different ball game tonight. Uh, but I thought his positioning, his handling, his kicking, everything was good tonight. You know, He's just played 48 plus cup games. He's played over 50 games this season for the first time in his life. It's been a brilliant experience for him. Yeah, it certainly has. And one more game to go, and that'll be the important one, of course, at Wembley Stadium a week on uh, Saturday. Let's go back a little bit more uh, to tonight. Talk us through uh, the goals. I thought Stephen Quinn had a nice little role to play in that. He knew he was offside and just had a little shout, didn't he, to, to Elliot down the right-hand side to, to chase. Yeah, that's the, that's the rule now. And I know a couple of their probably supporters are upset about it, but you see goals like that every week now where, you know, the, the fall said no impact on the play. Uh, Elliot just kept running. And I'm not sure what Stephen McLaughlin was doing up there. We thought Jordan had scored at first, actually, Jordan Barry. Oh, I thought it was out. And you thought it was out, so, and I was, we were asking the subs on the bench who scored because the fourth didn't know either. And uh, it was uh, Macca with his right foot as well. He's got some very important goals for us this season. Yeah, he certainly has, and put in quite a few important tackles tonight as well. Everybody did. Mm. The blocks and the tackles, I thought that was a, a feature of the game, um, you know, all throughout. And even the ones that aren't possibly renowned for the tackling, you know, uh, still, still did enough tonight in that area. And uh, how, uh, last two from me, how proud are you of the, the journey that your side have been on this season and, and indeed the performance that they've displayed tonight? For eight months, uh, well, all season, I think. I think that run we had, there was a lot of uh, things go against us, uh, which were out of our control. Uh, but to rebound like that, players kept the faith, kept believing, kept playing. And it's sort of accumulated in tonight. And of course we can enjoy the celebrations as Stags fans and players will do but the hard work starts again tomorrow morning because we've got one more game and that's even bigger than this. Yeah, can you give us half a day if we, can we just, <laughs> or a day maybe and then we'll, we'll start. We'll Friday. give you two. Oh, we'll, we'll start Friday if that's okay because we're going out for a beer tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. Fully deserved as well. Nigel, congratulations on getting Mansfield Town to Wembley Stadium. Thank you. It sounds nice when you say it like that. Thank you.